Okay, we're going to move on to the book world. How do you write a critically acclaimed novel? Well, you could drink buffalo blood, sign up for combat training, and learn to shoot antique pistols. That was part of the recipe employed by author Philip Meyer for his second book, The Sun, which debuts next week. Here to discuss his, oh, I'd say total immersion writing process is WSJ's publishing reporter, Alexander Alter, who's been speaking with Meyer this week. Wow. He takes his research very, very seriously. He does. It's amazing for a novelist, you know, who relies on their imagination. We tend to think of them as artists Making who rely on their imagination, but he wanted to actually, you know, understand how to skin a, a deer and tan the hide and do all these things um, to research this book, which takes place in Texas. Uh, it starts in the early 1850s, it starts in the 1850s, comes to the present, but there's an incredible amount of detail about Comanche rituals and um, the central character is a, is a young, is a teenage boy who's taken by Comanches and basically becomes a tribes member. A lot of uh, a lot, expectations are very high for this book, in part because his first work, American Rust, I mean, people were comparing him to, to Faulkner and, and, and Steinbeck. It's, you know, that's no small thing to live up to. And Hemingway, and I mean, Hemingway. it was uh, outrageous, some of the names that were banding around, and, and this was his, his debut novel, so of course a lot of, there's a lot of pressure for the follow-up, expectations are very high, but there are already early reviews out saying this is a destined classic this is you know people are saying this is better than the first that's so. ama amazing yeah. is there a unifying thread you know you and I talk a lot about these authors who make it big um, that they lead these multiple lives I mean this guy led so many lives before he became this best-selling author who drinks buffalo blood it's true I mean he's only he's only 39 now um, but he dropped out of high school uh, got his GED went back his first job out of college was as a derivatives trader um, for a Swiss bank, and he did that for a few years and sort of lived the high life and then was calling in sick to write, and he realized he really wasn't uh, you know, living up to what he wanted to be doing, so he quit that job, ran out of money, moved back home with his parents, um, tried to make money working construction, driving ambulances. I mean, he did a, a wide variety of things before he finally had some success with short stories and managed to get a good publishing deal. And dozens of rewrites later, we'll see if the sun can match up to the first one. All right, Alexander Alter, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.